Jewish entrepreneurs are out in force at one of the most hotly anticipated technology conferences of the year, TechCrunch Disrupt SF. Disrupt hosts the industry's premium startup competition where fledgling tech firms must present their products to a panel of high-profile judges, such as Yahoo's Marissa Meyer, to win a $50,000 cash prize. It's the ideal time to grab user and press attention. That's why these entrepreneurs have traveled all the way from Israel to attend. We're basically launching now the product, especially the iOS app, and it was a good opportunity for us to come over and, you know, and present or showcase our company. And more so, we kind of focus on the U.S. market to begin with, so it's all, it's all combined. Event with is an event planning application that runs on Apple devices. And then I'll go ahead, invite my friends, from Facebook at the moment. I can see who is attending and who is not. And then, and then they will come to the nicest thing about the application, is the task list. Event with lets you allocate who brings what to an event, food, drink, blankets. You can also vote on where and when it's held, making planning collaborative. The social dimension is key to another Israeli startup, Numbies. What the user gets in Numbies uh, is a platform that enables him to share and talk and follow numbers. All kinds of statistics from sports scores to stock prices can be collated on a user's board. And here's a fascinating figure, three and a half thousand, the number of startups in Israel, second only to Silicon Valley. Israel is a great, great place uh, for startups, uh, considered to be the startup nation. And uh, you get to hear and meet a lot of people um, who've been there, who've done that and hear very, very smart things they have to say. One Jewish entrepreneur who's been there and done that is Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. He talked to attendees about the social network's controversial IPO. Having gone through what I think most people would characterize as an extremely, extremely turbulent first year as a public company, um, I, I, can, I can tell you, I, I actually don't think it's that bad. Facebook shares may now be worth $45 each, but everyone's got to start somewhere. Many early-stage projects bid for funding from angel investors or venture capitalists like Roy Carthy, who invests in Israeli and Brazilian startups. We look for a disruptive technology, we look for a, a concrete business model, but most importantly, a solid team. Roy says Israeli startups typically get early-stage funding locally. There's a, a spectrum of investors, such as myself, uh, but then when, uh, when they move on to later stages, the round Bs and Cs, the, yes, they do go abroad, and that's part of, uh, of that ecosystem. He also says the tiny country's home to some of the best startups in the world. I think Jews in, 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 on their DNA level are entrepreneurial. Then, of course, there's the geographic issue where we have to outthink uh, our resources. So startups seem to be the, uh, the logical conclusion to that. No matter where they're from, San Francisco remains a mecca for entrepreneurs. Israeli startups here have been courting both executives and investors in the hope they'll return home with some funding for their project. Rebecca Bowring, JN1, San Francisco.